Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matters Goat. Now today I want to talk about another experiment that I tried to do. You saw the one I did with music and how much it just failed. Completely. I also wanted to do a, an, ex an experiment with YouTube. I want to eventually have the dumbest thing on YouTube. A lot of people claim to have the dumbest thing, but really dumb. I mean just void of any intellectual content whatsoever without going as far as just showing a blank screen. Something happens in the video, but it has no relevance to anything at all. No relevance. Zeros. None. Zip. Zilch. You would say that these videos mustn't be a part of that experiment and that they are not. They are not a part of the experiment. I have a whole other channel where I am trying, I am really trying to find the essence of nothing. But with all the content that's on YouTube, I have a fucking shitload to contend with. Like these little fucking shits who upload videos from their fucking video phone where it's just scrambling all around the place and someone's laughing and they run around and then it goes black and then someone farts and that's the end of their video. I have to compete with that. A lot of people say, oh man, I want to be the greatest guy on YouTube. I want to be the guy who just overtakes everyone. Everyone's trying to overtake everyone else. Play it out. And trust me, mate, most people aren't going to make it to the heights that they want to make it to. Yes, they'll get a lot of views because they tried very hard and put a lot of effort into them. I put a lot of effort into my stupidity. Some people think, oh, doing something stupid, you just set up a camera and do something stupid. If I just set up a camera right now and randomly did something stupid, it'd either be slightly entertaining or it'd have some relevance because it'd be an obvious experiment. See, the essence of stupid is trying to make a video with lots of meaning but have no meaning whatsoever. That is stupid because it's completely missing the purpose of what you were trying to do. That's stupid. And doing it over and over and over and over and over again, that's really stupid. That's the essence of stupid and I've done it. I believe on occasion I do rant on that channel though that was probably a mistake I'll probably have to delete those nah I'll just keep them there because then it's like oh he ranted but he's still stupid or is he maybe I've completely tarnished my experiment I don't know I had a channel before that as well that was pretty bloody stupid but at times accidentally entertaining this wasn't meant to be entertaining it was meant to be like an infomercial now I'm gonna sell you some products here we have some instant coffee that expired in 1993. You can just have it. See, I probably wouldn't be good at infomercials either. Maybe, maybe that right there. Being a, but Family Guy does that. Competing with Family Guy. They're not really stupid. Some of the jokes are well informed, but the cutscenes can be at times a little bit completely unnecessary in the essence of stupid, but not really because they still have a point. It's a very hard thing to do. People think without being completely stupid. I don't I'm not sure if I'm completely stupid, but if I am, then, and I'm still having a hard time getting to completely stupid, even though I'm completely stupid, that's pretty stupid. Maybe my experiment can go somewhere. I, in fact, made a video yesterday that, oh, it was a moment. Because you, when you're doing experiments, it's like mixing chemicals in the lab. When something mixes correctly, you, you don't do that always on purpose. Sometimes you just try something and it just happens. How was toothpaste made? It just happened, I think. I haven't actually researched any of that. Shut up. Anyway, but if I can just fall upon stupid like I did yesterday, which I will link down there, then maybe my experiment has fruitfulness. But if it gets views, is it still stupid? Well, there are stupid people. It's a very complex thing. I'm, I'm so confused. Maybe it makes me confused. And that's because I'm stupid. Maybe this is stupid. It's, it's so hard to tell. It's so confusing. Even I don't get it. It's a very hard experiment. To get the essence of stupid, you become a little bit stupid. So it's hard to concentrate on what you're doing that's actually stupid. Because you forget what's actually stupid. It's a, it's really... I don't expect you to wrap your head around it in one sitting. Maybe you'll have to watch this a couple of times. And don't, because you'll die. Um, I think. Anyway, but it's really hard to get to the essence of stupid. And I'm trying. And I think... I think I have something. Just give me a second. I think I have it, okay? 
Today's episode of Mad as a Goat is hosted by... Hi everyone, I'm an elephant. Nay. <laughs> That's another thing with being stupid. You can't laugh while being stupid. Because if you laugh while being stupid, people can tell that you're trying to be stupid because you're laughing at the stupidity of it. Really difficult when being stupid. Maybe that is going to be a big hurdle for me, but I'm willing to take it on for everyone, for humanity. We've seen some stupid stuff, but where is it at? Where's the line where the human race just says enough is enough, we've got to become smart? It, it just that perfect stupidness. Just, it's like a commentary on the times. It's like Bob Dylan had subterranean homesick blues, which was quite intelligent in there, and that was needed at the time to get people kick-started into the movement. And now they need to see how dumb they're being, and maybe I can find that. And maybe someone recreates the stupid that I find, and that's still good, because I pattern it, okay? When I find the stupid, it's pattern it, all right, on me, okay? Remember, then, even though I never say my name in this, but remember, I, mad as a goat, that's my name. Anyway, mad as a goat, patent it on the stupidest, perfect stupidest thing ever. Something to be fucking proud of, mad as a goat.